Hi there. My name is Asim Chaudhary, and I work in Master Infrastructure Group in Cisco. This is a demonstration video for software defined QA. Software defined QA is an application designed to monitor network change and policy resources. It can be optimized network QA resources based on network current state as well as network desired state. Machine reasoning rules are defined to monitor QS health state and to optimize network-wide QS resources. In this video, I will demonstrate how this application can be used to monitor network QS resources, as well as how it can be used to modify ingress policy parameters and consistently to observe the egress of the network. This is the network diagram for the demonstration. The traffic is going from XSC and XSB devices to XSC device through various edge and core devices. For the simplicity of the demonstration, all the traffic in the network are assumed to be either voice, video, or data. Based on the applied machine reasoning rules, when the consistent thing drops are seen at the edge of edge D device, policy parameter are tuned at the ingress or edge A device to mitigate the drop and optimize the network. Let's start with a demo. Okay, so this is the SQQS application user interface. The application is able to load the network topology. You can see that the network queue health as well as each of the devices queue health are all green. Similarly, if you select the policy tab, you can see that the policy health of the network is all green, and you can select a particular device, and corresponding uh, policies will pop up on the right hand side window. And you can see that the policy health are, are all green right now. So what are the other options available? Some of the machine reasoning rules are pre-configured. If you look into rules number four, five, and six, which state that any queue drop in SD device will trigger a policy parameter modification at at a device for all the three video for, for all the three classes for voice, video, and and data. You can check the configurations for the various devices by selecting the config tab, and if we let the corresponding device, we can see the QS configuration. Similarly, uh, operation data for the QS can be seen by selecting corresponding devices. Logs uh, page generate the various events which are happening in the network corresponding to, uh, related to the QS uh, events. And you can see that and currently, uh, the, the policy health of the network is green, as well as the key health of the network is green. Uh, what I have done is that I have popped up to create two uh, uh, consoles for HD and HD device. And we can see the running configuration for QS and all the three classes, uh, data, video, and voice are configured on ingress as well as on ingress devices. So here is the traffic which is going to the network. And the traffic is conforming to the policy rate in the ingress. And correspondingly, there is no queue drop observed at the ingress of the network. So the network is pretty healthy right now. Go back to the original page on the user interface. Okay, let us increase the traffic. Let us increase the traffic into the network. You can see that uh, we are pumping much more traffic, and uh, there's a lot of violating traffic to the policies. And we can see the, the traffic is increasing. Uh, what this violating traffic does is to pump a lot of traffic into the queues which queue 
cannot take it, and we observe the queen drops. So we see the two drops here, which is essentially increasing. All right, so uh, if, if we look into uh, the corresponding uh, user interface, and let's see, try to think. You can see uh, the thing health of the network has degraded. This is because uh, there's too much traffic going to the polyester and th into the network and trying to flow out of the out of the queues, which it cannot take it. So the polyester health is red, but the health of the edge A device uh, is red, and we can see the video traffic uh, is red, but other traffic is just fine. Uh, correspondingly, Q health of the network is, is degraded, and the health of the XG device um, and the corresponding health of the video queue has degraded. Okay, so uh, what this has caused is uh, machine reasoning rule number five to be triggered, and uh, which says that the policy uh, configuration will be modified at the ingress of the network. Uh, we can check uh, the traffic which is coming through as a device now. And and we can see there is no violating traffic anymore because machine using rule number five has applied and changed the configuration on the ingress of the uh, as a device. And we rather see a policy drop at the ingress of the network. And what this calls if you look into the XG device traffic, you can see that there is no further tail drop on any of the classes. We go back to the user interface and we can see that the Q health has come back to green. The health of the XG device has come back to green. But the policy health is still red because we are still dropping traffic in the in the ingress of the network. But the queues are all green, and this is what the desired behavior was. Okay, that concludes the demo. So okay, all these videos will be available at developer.cisco.com slash definite day. Uh, for any queries, uh, drop a note to us at xr-apps at external.cisco.com. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.